Hello, my name is Manuel Calvo and I'm a technical support engineer from Hortonworks. Today, in this video article, we will discuss about how to connect to Kafka server using SISL SSL security protocol. In the agenda, first, in the Ambari console, we will review the Kafka server configurations needed to enable SISL SSL protocol, and then uh, we will review a consumer producer client using a one-way SSL connection example in order to connect using this protocol. So, let's proceed with the Ambari console configuration. <clears throat> In the Ambari console configuration, we have to go to Kafka, then Configs tab. And in order to enable SSL, first we have to go to Custom Kafka Broker and enable these four properties SSL Key Store Location, which is the, a common location from whole brokers uh, of your key store. We have to provide the SSL Key Store password, which is uh, in my case is Hadoop. And we have to do the same for ssl.trustor.location and SSL Trustor password. So after that, we have to enable the SASL underscore SSL protocol. In my case, in the listeners, I have multiple protocols. But in this case, as you can see at the end, I have enabled the SASL SSL protocol listening on port 6669. So now let's go to the client configurations in a terminal so I can show you how you can configure this. Here, I'm in a terminal uh, where my client configurations are located. So, in this case, as you can see, uh, if I do and I list the files that I have, basically I have two files, client.trustor.jks, which is basically my key store that will be used by the client, uh, and it contains the root certificate from the server. I just import that certificate because this is a one-way SSL communication, and then I have another file called test.properties file. In that test.properties file, this is the information that I have. As you can see, inside this file, we just have to specify the SSL Trustor location, which is basically the same that I showed you before, which is the client trustor.jks, and the one that will be used by the client in order to connect to the server. Uh, and the other one, uh, it is the SSL Trustor password. In this case, as explained, my password is Hadoop, so uh, these are the properties that we have to use for the client in order to connect to the server. Now, in here, I will execute my producer. This is the new API uh, provided by Kafka, so let me show you. As you can see, in this case, uh, I'm running the Kafka console producer. I'm providing the broker list. Uh, as you can see, it is not necessary to provide the, the whole brokers. Uh, with just one, it's enough. In this case, I have a topic which is called topic one. And here, it's an important step, which is basically I'm providing the test.properties file that I showed you before, which is this one, which contains this information. And I'm specifying uh, the security protocol, which is the SISL SSL. It's important to check that the port that we are using is the, the one for SISL, SSL security protocol. So make sure of that. So let's run this client. Here, uh, my client is already started. So in this other uh, terminal, I will run my consumer. The consumer is almost the same, uh, but we have to change a couple of things. Basically, in the producer is broker list the parameter to specify the brokers, uh, but on the consumer side, we have to provide the bootstrap servers. Uh, also, we have to provide the topic name, which is the same in here for the producer. Uh, and also, instead of using producer.config as we used previously, in here in the consumer, we will use consumer.config. Okay, so we will provide exactly the same uh, test properties file, which is basically the key store that will be in use for this connection. So let's run this. Now I will send a message from my producer. And as you can see, I'm receiving the same from my consumer side. So uh, thank you for watching. And in case that you have any further questions, just uh, put it in the, in the video and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks.